Razabani for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Evela. She's smiling already. Haven't even said anything yet. So you started saying our name and just cracked me up. <laughs> Lauren Price. Lauren, firstly, how are we doing? Yeah, I'm um, just glad, you know, debut went well. First one's always the worst, isn't it? And just a little bit of nerves, you know, first debut. Unboxing's Tokyo, but yeah, really pleased with my performance. Rob was pleased with it, so yeah, happy, happy. You spoke during the week about, of course, there's going to be nerves. It's, it's the first professional fight. Everyone, everyone goes through those. I spoke to Shannon Ryan as well this week, and she said the same thing. The first one, there was so much nerves. Did you, did you feel like the nerves were as you anticipated, or far worse? Nah, just what, what I'm anticipated, really. Just you know, just normal. Um, when I was in here and I started warming up, kind of I just relax, you know. Uh, more nervous for the ring walk, if I'm honest. <laughs> you know, being that's new to us. So, um, but yeah, I just. Yeah, I loved every minute of it, you know, walking out um, and, yeah, just being under the bright lights. is you know, big nights in there, big nights to go, and I'm looking forward to it. Well, it's not all about getting that first one out of the way, getting those nerves out of the way, showcasing to everybody who you are and what you're here to do. Yeah, 100%. I just didn't want to rush, you know. Um, I just wanted, like Rob just said, don't load up, just use your speed, use your skill. And, uh, yeah, I felt, felt I'd done that. You know, the girl was quite game, so I didn't really want to get involved. Didn't want no cuts or, you know, egg clashes and stuff like that. I felt red a few times when I got in close. So, yeah, I just kind of kept it long, picked my shots and moved my feet. Sometimes when you're out there and, and you've got a crowd like this, you want to go out there and throw punches. You're not supposed to punch because you want to get the knockout. Did you get that feeling, that temptation to just go in and just get it over and done with as quick as possible? No, nah, not at all. You know, I got a great guy in, in Rob McCracken and, and, you know, he, he just drilled into me, you know, just relax, pick your shots, take your time. And that's one of the biggest things he, he goes on about, really, is just, you know, pick, picking your shot and that, that'll just come later on. But, um, yeah, he's really pleased with my performance and... Yeah, just chuffed, like I said, the debut was out of the way and, like you said, the worst one. I was going to come to that. What, what was Rob's reaction after the fight? How did you think you did tonight? Yeah, he was really pleased, you know. He said, you know, that, get, that girl's tough. Um, he just said, yeah, picked my shots lovely, worked off my jab, uh, counted well, uh, moved my feet, feet really good. And, yeah, overall, he said, perfect debut. So, got to be happy with that, haven't I? What's next? I'm sure you're probably going to be hassling Ben over the next couple of days to say that you want another date. You want to get out quite quickly as well, so what's the plan for the rest of the year? Yeah, 100%. I want to get on um, Marshall Shields undercard, so I think that's September time. So I'm back in the gym on Monday supporting Karis because she goes in two weeks' time. So I'm back in Sheffield on Monday, you know, I wouldn't leave her on her own. So I'm just going to take over, wait for her to have her debut, and then I think uh, the two of us deserve like a week in the sun somewhere. But <laughs> straight back into camp then, uh, ready to go again. Well, the sun's out in the, in the UK at the moment, so I don't think you need to fly anywhere. Well, I don't know about that. Um, thinking about going only, only, only short flight, something like Spain or something like that, just, just switch off. You know, we've been in camp since January, so we've had a long camp. And yeah, it's just, you know, chill time and then straight back to it. Obviously, the women's division aren't as stacked as the men's division. When, if you want to become a world champion as a man, is it's a long process. With well, the women, it doesn't seem like it, it, you could be having a world title fight in 12 to 18 months, and that's being very, very realistic. Is that, are, that, are those kind of the opportunities that you're looking at now? Yeah, obviously, I want to, you know, world title fights, but I've just had my debut, and I'll just listen to Rob. I just want little step ups each time. Um, that's all I want, really. Like you said, the women move a lot quicker than the men, so yeah, realistically, may maybe like you said, eight eighteen months, yeah. But um, for me, I just want to take each fight as it comes. I'm still learning, you know. Um, it's completely different to the amateurs, as I was in there tonight, and just obviously smaller gloves, and you're picking them up to your face, and you're thinking like, obviously, when you throw in, obviously their head's coming into you, and you can feel stuff like that. So it's just like little adjustments. Um, but I thought I dealt with that quite well, and yeah, I suppose each fight you just learn more, and when the time is right, then yeah, then opportunities will come. I know sparring is sparring, and in the gym, that's, that, that stays in the gym, under the lights, the pressure, the ring walk, all of that. Was it, was it different fighting under all of that, all those scenarios? Yeah, it's completely different, and you can do as many rounds as you want in the gym. Uh, when, you, when you're boxing, it's, it's completely different, all, and especially now all eyes are on you. Um, but yeah, and obviously the crowd and everything, that's all new to me. But i got to be honest, when I was in there, I was kind of um, just focused. I didn't really think of the crowd too much. And, yeah, I think obviously we're used to that. Obviously, us Olympians box at the highest level as an amateur. So I think we got that kind of thing, you know, switch on, stay focused. And, um, yeah, I thought I dealt with that quite quite well. So, Victoria's tonight. You've been dieting. Uh, what are you going to delve into tonight? What kind of carbs and chocolates? No, I'm still on a diet for the next two weeks. Cause oh! I'm so, uh, <laughs> 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 I 
But no, nah, I'll be honest, I, that's all I've had the last three, four days is Nando's. So I'm sick of Nando's now, I don't want no more Nando's. I'll probably have a Sunday dinner, my nan Sunday dinner tomorrow. Nice. Um, might have a cheeky roasty if I'm allowed. And then, uh, <laughs> and then yeah, wait t till uh, Karis of Box and then is these cookies. Um, how can I describe it? You just put them in the microwave and they melt. And they're just banging. So I never really had a sweet tooth, if I'm honest, until obviously I got with Karis and uh, she got me into these cookies. I was always like a plain Jane as well. I'd go to Nando's and I'd have like plain everything. And then she took the make up with me. So I spiced it up and I'm on medium and I've got a bit of peri salt on my chips, you know, so I live in life. <laughs> Lauren, many, many, many congratulations, congratulations again. And yeah, let's roll on this, this journey and see where it goes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lauren Price, IFL TV, thank you very much. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.